everybody. This is the Dolphin Online Data Recovery Training Video Section 2. This video will teach you what kind of data recovery cases we usually receive within our data recovery nets. Okay, let's watch the video now. Okay, let's, let's see within our daily data recovery cases or within our data recovery naps, what kind of meta types we may receive. So we can see the hard drives, the US, the external hard drives, the internal hard drives, like the solid state drives, the SSD, the optical drives. The CD, DVD, VCD, yeah, and the flash disks, U disks. And common interface you will meet are the SATA, ID, USB, SAS, SCAS. Right now, we will focus on the hard drives, including the internal and external hard drives. From One gigabyte to so four gigabyte. These are supported within the DF data recovery tools. So about the hard drive brands, we can see today the Seagate, Samsung, they allow one, and the Western Digital, Hitach, Toshiba Fujish. So these are three groups. So we can focus on these three. So these are the major types we see within when we receive from our clients. But when we are talking about data recovery, we are actually recovering data from the inner com components of this stuff. So what are the inner components? From the optical drives, we can see we recover data from the mesonite surface. From the hard drives, we are actually recovering data from the platter surface. From the flash drives and the SSD, they are actually recovering data from the chips. So it's easy to use the CD DVD recovery software to get most data from the optic, from DVD, CD, VCD, from these drives. And from the chips, from, I mean, from the flash drives, if they just have logical problem, it's easy to use the software. Maybe you can do some scanning, like uh, with the RStudio and the WinHex. But if the controller damage of these chips, then you need to solder the chips from the flash drives and then put the chips to the chip reader. Then you can get the data of the chips. Then you need to, especially from the solid state drives, it's even more difficult because there can be uh, eight chips, 16 chips, and even more chips. You need to image each chip and then combine all the chips. Combine the image. And you need, you need to figure out the algorithm. And finally, you can get this data back from these chips. So you need a chip reader. As for Dolphin Data Lab, we are focusing on the hard drive data recovery 
that is to get the data of the hard drives. So today, we will focus how to get the data of the hard drive platters, the central one. All the data is stored on the platters. So today we will talk about this one.